Hey yo, is he King Fight News and Deontay Wilder was wise to turn down a DAZN deal with more money coming for future fights like Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. This is what Bob Arum is saying, and it's E. King Fight News. We got more on this. All right, it's not me saying it. Bob Arum, head of top rank, is saying, hey, you know what? Wilder made a smart move by not taking that DAZN deal. How about that? He believes Deontay Wilder, if built up properly to face Tyson Fury, could end up making the same kind of money or even more, right? They want to build that fight to a potential pay-per-view that can do about 2 million buys. That's what Bob Arum wants to do. That's what Bob Arum wants to do. If I'm Eddie Hearn, I'd be doing the same thing. I'd want to build... Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder fight up to the point where it can do that many buys on pay-per-view. I don't know why they're fucking with the zone like that, but actually I do know why. Because the zone gave Eddie Hearn a nice little retirement package. Gave Eddie Hearn the goods, man. Ahern doesn't want to lose it, man. Ahern doesn't want to lose that retirement package he has, man. He had, what, $300 million to play with of the Zones money? Just gave it to him and shit? Man. Funny shit. But we'll see if they keep Eddie Hearn around, man. We'll, we'll, we'll see if they keep his content around. We'll see. Man, you know what the zone needs? If the zone was smart, they get their own fucking. Uh, they, they get some of us on there, talking that real shit. That's what they need. They need their own original fucking content, and Ak and Barack ain't cutting it. I'll just tell you that right now. Um, y'all know what it is, man. Uh, so let's get into it. Let's get into what Bob Arum had to say. He's saying it's a wise move from Al Heyman. He's actually given Al Heyman most of the credit, which is quite interesting. But, I mean, that's that's the guy that's behind Deontay Wilder. Most likely, you know, uh, giving him that game. So let's see what they had to say. And we got more on this. So Aram is saying Wilder and his advisor did exactly what they hoped for exactly what he hoped for when they were offered a highly lucrative deal from the zone this is what Aram told boxing scene I think a Heyman and rightfully so demonstrated to Wilder that he'll end up making more money doing it the tr traditional way rather than making a deal with the zone where he's limited I think that would have done I, I think I would have done the same thing so he here's another guy you know, who manages a ton of fighters. You don't see fucking Vassal Lomachenko signing with the zone. You don't see guys from uh, Bob Arum's stable signing with the zone. You don't see it. Terrence Crawford is, is staying right there. He ain't going nowhere. So... Bob Arum's doing something right. He's got guys like Tiafimo Lopez. You know, he's got guys out there. Coming up. Right? I, I don't know if the zone has any kind of prospect that's on the level of a Tiafimo Lopez. Right? I mean, Ryan Garcia... I mean, come on, man. Ryan Garcia, he's going to get protected for at least two years, man. That dude ain't going to be in any competitive fights. Jaime Munguia is being protected right now. You know, yeah, tough fight versus uh, Takashi Inoue. Tough fight. I'd like to see him in there with a real champion. You know? 
or number one contender type uh, situation. I don't see him in those fights. So, I mean, hey, Bob Arum giving Deontay Wilder a ton of credit for turning down, for passing on to zone. Uh, quite shocking indeed. Let me know what you guys think. It's e King fighting you. Um, and y'all know what it is, man. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Finkel explained Tuesday that there are certain Wilder Joshua will become worth more than the 40 million Skipper offered. So there you go. AC King fighting news. Let me know what you guys think. Smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we're out. Peace.